Hi there, if you are unable to boot from an external drive or thumb drive, most likely you have your Mac is, uh, has a T2 chip. So if you have an iMac, Mac mini, MacBook Pro, MacBook Air with a T2 chip, the security setting for your Mac is set to disallow. So in this video, I will walk you through how to enable your system to be able to boot from external drive. Now to get there first, we have to get to the Mac OS utility, which is the Mac OS recovery. To do that, on the keyboard, we want to press the power button, then immediately press and hold the command and the letter R is in Romeo, so the command R. Now, keep holding the command and R, you will see the Apple logo, then the progress bar. As soon as you see the progress bar, then you can let go the command and R. This process is depend how old your system, sometimes this could take a few seconds, sometimes this could take minutes. And then we will get to the Mac OS uh, utility. Now in the Mac OS utilities, you will see there is four options. The first one is uh, to restore from Time Machine Backup. So if you said you, you did an upgrade, you get a new Mac and you have a Time Machine Backup, here where you can restore from that. Or if something wrong with your Mac and you want to restore, it's the same. Now the second option, if you want to reinstall uh, the Mac OS, if you have something wrong with the, with the operating system with your Mac, then to reinstall the Mac OS, you come in here. Uh, now this option will not delete or erase your data. Everything is going to be intact as long you did, you don't erase the drive. Uh, the third option is Safari. Uh, Safari, this is just a KB article from Apple for your Mac. And the most important one, which is the disk utility. In disk utility, you can erase a drive. You can run first aid. First aid is well, if you have a bad sector on the drive, it will um, uh, correct them. Or if you have a failed drive, it will, uh, it will show you that it's a bad drive. And then you can mount or unmount the drive or partition it. Now, for this video, we are not going to use any of those. So for us, now on the left hand side, you will see the Apple logo, then in the menu, we will click on utilities. When you click on the utilities, you will see the startup security utilities. That's the one we need. Now, when you open that, you will see we have multiple options in here. If we said you want to set a firmware password, here you can set it up or you can turn it off. Uh, the security boot is set to full security. You can change it to medium or no security. Preferred to stay at full security. Uh, the fourth option, which is that's the most important for this video, which is allowed boot media. So by default, it's disallow booting from external or internal um, or removable media checked. So what we want, we want to check allow booting from external or removable media. And when you check that, you do not, uh, this will be saved then you just need to start your system. So if you have a bootable uh, external drive, you just hold the option key, then you'll be able to see uh, your internal drive and your external drive. If you want to create a bootable disk for any Mac OS, I do have a video, uh, feel free to check it out. Other than that, that's the only setting we need to change in here. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment below. If you feel this tutorial is helpful, please give it a like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Thank you and have a good day.